The Dragonscape was once the Americas, a full third of the world, over 1 billion people inhabiting 35 distinct countries with hundreds of cultural and ethnic groups and countless ways of life. So what changed the Americas from what it was in 2018 to what would become the Dragonscape in 2048? That change would come from the Pulse. In this video, we will cover the bare basics of the Pulse, how it happened, what it did, and the aftermath of it. So before we can talk about the Pulse, we need to talk about the Steyron and how it broke. So the Steyron is a dimensional keystone that keeps realities from crashing together. Think of it like a valve in a pipe system. The one in our reality, in this setting, happens to exist deep under the Rinca Wildlife Reserve in northern Brazil. In 2015, the Brazilian government would begin mining operations in Rinca upon finding silver and gold veins in the ground. As of note, they had no idea about the whole Steyron thing. On the 22nd of October, 2018, during a mundane mining operation, Brazilian miners would use explosives to get through the hardened bedrock, just like any other day. However, during this day, one of those explosions happened to damage the tip of the Steyron, which would immediately force one reality into our own, and started the Pulse. The Pulse itself only lasted 0.007 seconds, far less than even a millisecond, traveling at the speed of light and consumed the Americas before anyone could blink. It was just over and done like that. When that keystone was broken, a different reality known as Yomdem was essentially sucked into our own. Chunks of land, the denizens and wildlife, and most importantly, in regards to the Poles, the gods of Yomdem, known as the Radir, were all sucked into our reality. It gets a bit messy from here. To be brief on the Radir, they are billions of gods, indifferent but nonetheless impactful on the world just by their presence. Their sudden and chaotic entrance into our reality would force their passive reality warping influence upon our reality. This influence would change everything in the Americas and something that would be representative of Yomdem. Plants became infested with mana and magic, the wildlife turned draconic, insects, reptiles, and amphibians turned giant. Mammals and avians were turned into draconic creatures like those found in the destroyed reality of Yondem, and humans were transformed into the Drakir. The native peoples of Yondem, the Seville Diao, were flung from their once grand kingdoms into the suddenly abandoned ruins and wildernesses of the Americas. They would have no choice but to spend the next 30 years rebuilding. The sheer magical force of the Pulse itself also had its impact on the land and geography of the Americas. Magic infested everything. Mana flooded into small lakes and ponds. Obelisks and voice lakes formed in less than a second. You would also see massive geological shifts that would change the features of any given location noticeably from how the land was before the Pulse. This pole was even strong enough to pull Radir out of their place in reality, turning them into the Balyar which are what guides the actions of the Radir in the direct aftermath of the Pulse. The only thing that really stopped the Dragonscape from expanding further out of the Americas was that the Steyron was only partially damaged from that mining blast. The Pulse itself was over in the blink of an eye, though the changes would be dramatic and extreme and affect the course of the world forevermore. As for the aftermath of the Pulse, this will focus on the Americas specifically, as the rest of the world will have their own entries on what happened with them after this event. The Radir would quickly get a grasp of their new situation, and, seeking to protect their fallen brothers, the Balyar, from the potential panic and weaponry of the now Drekified, or turned to Drekier, human population, they forced the now Drekified humans into a stasis, blinking them out of reality for 30 years. This was done to protect the Balyar, letting the infrastructure of this strange and alien society, those nations of the Americas, to decay and be destroyed by nature and magic. During those 30 years, nature and wildlife would overrun the city ruins. Magical and natural degradation would also ruin the pre pulse infrastructure in addition. More so, uh, magical anomalies like obelisks and voice lakes have destroyed portions of cities or entire cities, or at the least rewrote how reality works within those cities. There were even massive geographical shifts, with some parts of the world sinking into the ocean or sinking underground into the undercaves, or even new geographical features like new mountains, lakes, plateaus, canyons, etc. Additionally, the establishment of the Balyar and Seville Yao in various regions of the Dragonscape would also result in changing of what one 
Renaissance was, with the Seville Diao demolishing cities of old and establishing new kingdoms, and each bell uh, changing the world as it so sees fit. When the once humans of 2018 would wake up as Drakir in 2048, their world would be in ruins, the homes long collapsed, infrastructure irreparable, and people's technology rotted away or in seriously small quantities and or capacities. They would basically have to start from scratch because everything that existed just a small 30 years ago was now gone or rotting. In conclusion, the pulse was an event caused by the damaging and breaking of a dimensional keystone known as the Steron. When this keystone was damaged, an alternate reality was sucked into ours, an alternate reality of dragons known as Yondem. From this alternate draconic reality came the influences of the Radir, which swept through the Americas. Fearing for their fallen brothers, who were pulled from the sky onto our planet, the Radir forced the now directified humanity into a 30-year stasis. During this 30-year stasis, natural and magical degradation, Sevilla and Balyard demolishment, and geographical and magical shifts would destroy large amounts of the pre pulse infrastructure, leaving the now Drekir survivors with very little to work with when they would awake on the 22nd of October in the year 2048. This is essentially what creates the dragonscape in air quotes. It's what establishes what will come to be the setting and how that setting came to be. In short, it's uh, it's a bit of a stretch, uh, admittingly, but I, I guess you kind of need to have a stretch to make this sort of thing work. In any case, uh, thank you folks for watching. I do appreciate it, and take care.